Hello everyone, this is TB Shores. This is March the 27th, and I'm going to try to get into this um, video that I've been gathering. There's just so much information. The Lord just keeps opening my eyes to things, and I don't even know where to start. But I'm so excited about it, so we're just going to jump into this. Okay, we've already talked about the barley and the first fruits, and how that is uh, the first harvest which represents the bride. Uh, I want to talk just a little bit more about that because the Lord has shown me something else concerning that. And then we'll move on up to Pentecost with the wheat harvest. But here, if we look back in Leviticus 23, where over here, let's see. In verse 6, it's where the Lord starts talking about the uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread. We know that the 14th of the month is Passover. And then the next day we get into the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And then that's when we see the first fruits that are harvested, um, presented before the Lord by the priest over here in verse 10 and 11. And then what the Lord is showing me right now, and I just find it so amazing, um, here in verse 13, it says, And the meat offering thereof shall be two-tenth deals of fine flour mingled with oil, an offering made by fire unto the Lord for a sweet savor. And the drink offering thereof shall be of wine. Well, the Lord's been showing me some things about the oil and the wine, and this even leads back to Revelation, but we're not going to go there at the moment. Uh, I want to try to keep these short so that I can load them quicker. And anyway, let me get on with this. Okay, here the Lord brought my attention to this fine flour, okay? And the thing about the fine flour, if we look up here, it says, A fine powdery foodstuff obtained by grinding and sifting the meal of grain, especially especially wheat, okay? Now, this is pertaining to the barley harvest, so this is going to be concerning the barley. And what I found about this, let's see here, where it talks about sifting and grinding. Let's take a look. Here we have the word sift. And it says to put flour, sugar, etc. through a sifter or sieve to separate or remove something by using a sifter or sieve. So here we see it is to, um, how would you say, uh, it's like the refining process okay and that that is what the lord's talking about here this fine flour represents the um the barley that has been through a refining process and now it is sifted and ready for use but here we see it's mingled with oil and the oil represents an anointing of the holy spirit and here we see, let's see, let me see, wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's see, oil offered with oil, an offering made of fire. So this is referring to refining, just like I was talking about here with the, the fine flour and being anointed in the fire of the Holy Spirit. And here we see, the drink offering, which is basically just speaking of, of the, the blood of Christ. Okay, so the bride, we know she's been through her refinement. And she is going to be anointed by the Holy Spirit. And she is also covered by the blood, her protection, okay? And that's what the Lord was showing me here. And over here, when we get into the wheat, we see that the wheat goes through this refining as well. And of course, I showed you there where it talked about especially the wheat. 
So we see that the wheat needs more refining and more sifting than does the barley. And that's what we learn as, as we study um, and the process of the trials that each has to go through. The bride leaves early as the barley. She's ready. So she's harvested early. But the wheat, those that are the wheat, they need more refining. They need more sifting. So that's why they come later. But the bride, she goes and gets her anointing and and her she's covered and protected in the the blood of Christ. And that's what this is in reference to, is what the Lord is showing me. And it's it's here up here above in verse twelve we see a lamb without blemish. And see, this is all a picture of what's to come through Christ. And um I think that's all I wanted to show you at the moment because I was so excited about showing you about the refining and and the oil being the Holy Spirit and the difference in the refining of the barley and the bride. I mean, the barley and the wheat. But I'm going to cut this off right here and pick up on the wheat when I get back. Bye-bye.